What's going on YouTube? I am back with another video today and we are talking about how to get into your front side earlier in your golf swing so that you can hit further and straighter drives. Let's get into it. There is a massive importance of getting into your front side and getting into your front side early enough. I've talked about this countless times, but today I'm giving you my number one drill to actually help you get into your front side. Now, before we get into the drill, what it means to get into your front side, get into your front side on time. Getting into your front side is going to help you to actually utilize the ground in your swing to swing faster. If you never get into your front side like this, top of your swing, it's impossible to turn into a stiff side and actually rotate. You'll end up turning into a soft side coasting. That's going to A, lead to less speed, B, lead to less accuracy, C, it's going to decrease your angle of attack, so it'll increase spin rates. It does a whole slew of things that is terrible for your golf game. So we need to get into your front side earlier. Now, how do we do this? Stay with me. The first way to demonstrate this is by using some bubble wrap. So what I want you to do is take some bubble wrap and put it right below your lead heel. Once the bubble wrap is in place, I want you to lightly have your foot on it. Set up to the golf ball and on your backswing, we're loading our right side. Now I know for some of you, you're not gonna have your heel come up, that's perfectly fine. Same principle still apply. So on your backswing, we're gonna take a big swing back and naturally now, a lot of people get stuck here and they'll stay here. I want you to get into your front side and hear the bubble wrap. Pop. <laughs> so that's what we're looking for on the swing. Before you start your downswing, we want to hear that pop. It'll look just like this. Backswing, pop, swing. So that's fast motion, what you wanna do in this drill. But we have to slow down and take it back a step. So get your bubble wrap under your front leg again. And what I want you to do, actually, let's get the ball out of here, is start with the three-piece drill. So three-piece drill is get on your backswing, have your backswing pause, load your front side, and then swing and turn into it. The bubble wrap gives you great feedback on when you're actually loading into your front side because a lot of people can't feel that. Now, you can obviously do the same thing without bubble wrap. So the same philosophy applies without the bubble wrap. Have your backswing, pause. Should be loaded more onto your right side. Backswing, pause, load front side, turn off of it. Fast motion, it's gonna look like this. very exaggerated three-piece pause swing. From there, you start to shorten the pause. So it's back swing, load, swing. Do it again. Back swing, load, swing. You can see the weight to actually start to shift to my front side and shift at a good time because a lot of people either never shift their weight so their swing gets really stuck behind the ball and they may flare their front foot even or look like they're utilizing the ground by locking out but they're really behind the ball and they're not using their leg a lot. You have to get into your front side to actually utilize it to push off the ground. So same drill can be done with a golf towel. Take a golf towel, roll it up, stick it under your front heel. I like this because it slightly elevates your heel to give your body a really good feeling of what weight on that front side feels like. Because when you're up on your toes, you can really feel that your body starts to shift back to this side to compensate for it. So set up to it. And what I want you to feel is on your backswing, again, feel that weight start shifting into your towel. Now it's not about pushing all on your heel. That's not what we're trying to do. We're not trying to get your toes up, but it's about feeling that distribution of pushing down into the ground more so on the ball of your foot, which the towel actually helps you to feel that. Backswing, load the weight, feel the ground, and push up and turn off of it. Then you can get rid of all of those training aids and start incorporating that drill with a ball. So when incorporating a pause drill into your swing and trying to get it from dry swing into hitting a ball, it is very important that you are okay if you hit poor shots. 
it's not going to be the best contact because you're changing up your swing. That's perfectly fine. So if I miss hit this at all, it's fine. We're adding a drill so that you can develop a feel which can then carry over into your actual game. So with a pause drill would look like this. Again, we're gonna get to the top, pause, load, and then swing. Perfectly fine, I told you. <laughs> that was gonna happen. <laughs> but I had a very great feel of get to the top, felt what my swing looks at the top, felt exactly what time I should be loading and then start to downswing and turn. Now, one common mistake people make is that on their downswing, sometimes they'll get weight on their front side, but leave it on their front side. So I want you to really focus once you develop the feel of how to get that weight onto your front side, that you can start getting it off by using the ground. It's not a jumping motion. It is quite literally locking out and rotating. If you think that there's a wall right here, we're trying to rotate against that wall. We're not trying to go into the wall. When you go into the wall, it's going to be soft and not have a very fast swing because your pelvis isn't rotating very fast and you're not turning against it. We're trying to create a wall with the left side of your body. The wall can't exist if we're not onto our front side first. Otherwise, you just have this weak wall leaning backwards with the weight being back here and you're just kind of flouncing around. We don't want that. If you want more detailed videos about using your left side and how to do all that stuff, I've made a couple, we'll link them up here. You can go check those out. But ultimately, if your swing looks like either this, or this, I'm really good at those bad swings. <laughs> then you need some help like I do. That is two examples. The first one of left side caving and not turning into a hard left side. And the second is never getting into your front side so you can't actually utilize that front side. So when trying to start incorporating your left side more into your golf swing, you gotta make sure that your timing is correct. You want it right when the shaft is loading. Again, we'll link the video for shaft loading up top if you're not familiar with that, but if you're too late, too early, or never get into your front side, use these drills. I would suggest starting with bubble wrap so that you can get immediate feedback during dry swings of what it feels like, what it sounds like, then go into the towel drill so that you can really feel that weight shift and get an exaggerated motion of really feeling that left side sink into the ground and then turning against it. Then you can start incorporating full swings, utilizing those training aids as well. The goal of those drills is just to help you to start developing a feel so that when you go back to the golf ball, again, if you wanna use the towel and the bubble wrap while actually hitting a golf ball, completely fine. I would suggest starting with dry swings with it so that you can really actually exaggerate that backswing, pause, load, swing, three-piece swing drill, amazing. Use the towel, use the bubble wrap, try that out. Eventually you can use a bubble wrap and tower while actually hitting golf balls, but then you can start getting back to the golf ball, developing the feels that you already had in those drills, get them into your normal swing, and that's gonna make you a better use of your left leg on the course. So when done correctly and utilizing your left leg, getting into your left leg at the right time, it's going to look like this. So if you're looking to swing faster, hit further drives and hit straighter drives, start paying attention to your left side, how early or late you're getting into it and utilize these drills to make sure that your timing is perfect when utilizing your front side. That is it for today. I hope this helps you utilize your front side more. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. Let me know what video you want me to make next, helping you guys out in your golf world, trying to hit the ball further, trying to score better. Until next time, guys, we'll see you later. Oh,